Welcome to the world of Simons Voss digital locking systems. Today, I'll be showing you the Simons Voss mobile key software. You already know Simons Voss from its large and medium sized digital locking systems, which may contain up to several thousand doors. I'd now like to show you how you can also make use of the advantages of a digital locking system in small installations with just a few doors. A few doors refers to offices, medical practices and lawyers' offices with up to 20 doors. What requirements do such compact locking systems have? The most important factors here are security and simplicity. Users need to be able to produce a locking plan quickly without any specific prior expertise. All advantages of a digital locking system should also be available. Let's have a look at what a locking plan might look like for small systems. Here we have a medical practice, for example. The practice contains two consultancy rooms, a laboratory and a medical cabinet. As you would expect, there are also a few people. As this is a medical practice, there are two doctors, perhaps another person in reception, and two cleaners. And here we have a doctor's assistant. Let's now see who can open each door. Obviously, our two doctors can enter all rooms. The receptionist and the doctor's assistant are not permitted to enter the laboratory or the medical cabinet. One cleaner is allowed to enter the laboratory. I can now issue authorizations for individual days or time slots. If I click on a person, a menu will open where I select the time schedule. The schedule makes a distinction between a weekly and a daily schedule. I issue authorizations for time slots on certain days in the weekly schedule. I can thus authorize a person for a different time period on every day of the week. For instance, Mondays from 6 to 9 and Fridays between 1800 and 2100 hours. In the daily schedule, I add time slots which are the same for every day of the week. We can also choose to omit the weekend, meaning the person does not have authorization through any doors on Saturdays and Sundays. You can also make a few adjustments to the door settings. Click on the door concerned and select Edit. You can configure how long the cylinder should engage to open here. If you select Permanently Open, the door remains engaged once activated with a transponder until you use the transponder again. Once I have configured all settings, I just need to program the components. I install the programming application on my Windows computer and can then use the config device to complete all programming tasks. I can see the pending programming tasks as soon as I log on to the programming application. You should hold the config device at a distance of around 5 to 20 centimeters. Click on the programming task once and it is completed automatically. Last of all, there is still the question of which components should be used for your locking system. You can now fit a digital locking cylinder wherever you have a mechanical one. If you want to open a garage door, barrier or a motorized lock with your transponder, Use a smart relay. You now need to measure your doors to ensure you select the right locking cylinder. What does this mean? You need different cylinder lengths, depending on the door. External doors are somewhat thicker than office doors, for example. Measurements are always taken from the fastening screw used to attach the cylinder. From here, we take the external measurement and the inside measurement. Ensure that you allow for the fitting or escutcheon in your measurement. If you don't, the cylinder will be too short and you won't be able to install it. Here we have an external measurement of 30 millimeters and an inside one of 28 millimeters. Cylinder lengths are available in 5 millimeter increments. I am using a cylinder with an external measurement of 30 millimeters and an inside one of 30 millimeters. Installation is incredibly easy. Remove the cylinder from the box. In is laser engraved on the cylinder, indicating the inner side. You can simply remove the knob on the outer side. Insert the cylinder into the lock from the inside and tighten the fastening screw.
Do not tighten the screw too firmly, otherwise the cylinder body will warp. The cylinder must be easy to open and not stiff. Finally, place the outside knob on the spindle and lock it into position with the special key. If you have any questions about choosing the right product, taking measurements or installation, your local specialist supplier will be happy to help you. You will find the specialist dealers in your area on our homepage at www.simons-voss.com.